Greetings, Light Tribe, Denny Palmer here, continuing on with um, information about the number nine, sacred science of numbers, okay? The nine may become a prominent exponent of this truth and a leader among those who have the courage to blaze the trail, which will guide the less dauntless to once again find the paths which pass into these temples of light. Among the biblical characters are sacred books which are attuned to the vibratory rhythms of nine, um, are some of the most deeply mystical in the entire category of the book of books. One of these is the Song of Solomon, which is a chant of the mystic marriage and which voices the ecstasy of a soul that has glimpsed the heights of cosmic freedom and returned to sing the glory of that liberation which none who still remain in the bondage of things of earth can ever know. This is the glorious freedom of a nine when it becomes a soul number. Another book which is keyed to the inner work of nine is that enigmatic story of Job when this spiritually when this is spiritually interpreted key spiritually interpreted um, it is found to be an account of a soul who wins emancipation by learning to rise above the limitations of human travail and personal bondage it delineates the cosmic pattern of nine by which that freedom is attained skipping down a bit the tabernacle mystery temple um, in the wilderness presided over by the initiate Moses symbolized the hidden power of four and five or nine by the pillars of shittim wood which from which were suspended four colored curtains these curtains concealed the inner place from the outer and could be lifted one by one who had earned the privilege to pass within the holy precinct. The illuminated nine becomes worthy of this priceless privilege. In the words of the prophet, such a one is portrayed as a winged creature, yet bearing a likeness of man. Or as Paul describes him, an heir and a joint heir with Christ. This is the supreme ideal and the destiny of every soul keyed to the celestial note of nine. The ninth letter of the sacred Hebrew alphabet is Teth, meaning serpent. The word serpent is closely associated with our mind, in our mind, with the Garden of Eden and the Genesis legend of the expulsion of Adam and Eve therefrom on account of the subtle wiles of this crawling beast. Some variation of this theory is common to all the principal religions of the world. Numbers are centers of enormous force and power, each one being a particular focus of specific emanations of the Elohim in their evolutionary work with humanity. Number, asserts a sage, veileth the power of the Elohim. Nine represents the power of sex. In this aspect we recognize the truth of the dual nature of nine as previously defined, namely the number of matter and the number of divine illumination. For this the great motive power of all life leads man either into degeneration as instance in the expulsion of man and woman from the Edenic state of consciousness or else into the paths of regeneration and initiation as exemplified in John the revelation or the or the revelation's glorious vision of the woman clothed with the sun so the fall being a fall from consciousness this is the veil this is the conscious and the unconscious so our conscious mind really is not conscious of many things but our subconscious mind is so 
we're veiled from or have lost that level of consciousness and connection. And we're here to rise above things, experiences, raise our vibrational level to reconnect with that. And I'll stop this and do another one. Peace.